Hello everyone. My name is Daniela and you are on the channel, Tech Talk and Beauty. If you want to hear interesting news from beautiful girls, subscribe to our channel, like and tell your friends about us. Do you know why I talk about fun? Well, for example, devices like mixed reality headsets can really show something interesting and unusual. Here's what HTC CEO says, Apple may release mixed reality headset as early as 2023, but we're not afraid of competition. Really? Co-founder and CEO of HTC, Cher Wang, spoke at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona and said that Apple will, very soon, release its own mixed reality headset. Mixed reality is a technology that connects the physical and digital worlds. I think the release could happen in the middle or later this year, Wang said, adding that Apple may give an advantage to such a device, not AR glasses. It is reported that Apple has suspended plans to produce AR glasses. There have long been rumors that the company is focusing on creating its own virtual and augmented reality technologies. Mark Gurman of Bloomberg reported in January that Apple is likely to release a mixed reality headset this spring. Cupertino-based company often delays the implementation of certain trends or features until their release in other companies. For example, the iPhone received a dual-lens camera only in 2017, after HTC introduced it in their HTC One M8 smartphone three years earlier. Apple has always been very careful. The market is currently big, so they will probably join, says Wang. At the same time, having entered a new category of products, Apple may review their capabilities, according to Leo Jebby, chief analyst at CCS Insight. Augmented reality is a new form of interaction with the world, and it has the potential to change the paradigm of personal computers. Apple recognizes this potential, so it wants to enter this segment and eventually lead it, says Neil Shaw, vice president of research at CounterPoint Research. Apple is not the only company that wants to participate in the AR-VR race. In October, Meta released the Quest Pro headset for $1,500, and Microsoft already has HoloLens. Last week Samsung announced the development of its own mixed reality headset, and Xiaomi recently unveiled a prototype of augmented reality glasses. All of this increases competition for HTC. According to CounterPoint Research, in the second quarter of 2022, the company shipped over 100,000 XR devices, which is 158% more than the previous year's figures, 40,000 devices. This proves that we have chosen the right direction. Competition is always good, Wang said. HTC, which sold part of its smartphone business to Google for $1.1 billion in 2018, has focused on combining the virtual and physical worlds. In January, the company released the Vive XR Elite, a lightweight headset for gaming and fitness for $1,099. In the long term, all of these devices will be important tools for interacting with the virtual world. HTC also has its own Metaverse, HTC Vverse. Our goal is to make it as open and interconnected as possible, says Shen Yi, head of HTC's product department. HTC's technology offers the use of their software in commercial and industrial projects. According to Wang, the company is working with the U.S. Air Force and police on virtual training. However, attention to the metaverse has decreased slightly after the hype caused by Meta's developments. According to IDC, global shipments of VR headsets and sales of augmented reality devices fell by over 12% last year. Do you own similar devices? I want these devices to get new life. Will you use them in such a case? Write in the comments. My name is Daniela, thank you for being with us, subscribe to the Tech Talk and Beauty channel, like and see you tomorrow. Kisses and lots of love to you, our friends.